process when coach I'll tell you before that last um, bat? <laughs> during that last at bat, they walked lane and I I had to call time and I had to go and talk to him and he was, I was like, why? Why of all people, why would they do this to me? And he was like, you, you can do it. Like, I believe in you. You need to have confidence in yourself. Just visualize where you want it to go and it's going to happen. And I was like, as long as it just drops or gets through the infield, I don't care. And I, I watched it drop and I was like, we just won. We just won. <laughs> what, I mean, that's another walk-off, this one for the state championship. What is it about this team that allows you to stay calm in the biggest moments? We don't get, we get down on ourselves, but at the same time, we know how to pick each other up. And I think that is a great quality to have as a team because we don't put people down. We don't give up on anybody on our team and we're just we work together to get out of those hard situations and it really showed today. I asked Emma this too you know, I was there when you guys didn't, didn't finish the Little League state tight title game I know that was a, t a rough one after you dominated was there a, did you talk about that Actually, the whole way through when did you guys decide you wanted to be here? Um, I think we've wanted this ever since we were in that Little League state title game and uh, this morning I said I'm reminiscing on our Little League state title game right now but I think this time we're gonna win and we did and I've never been so proud of a group of girls in my life. Does it feel as good as you thought it would or better? It, it feels so much better than I thought it was like I in, like I envisioned all night last night I was trying to fall asleep and I just couldn't I just kept envisioning us either winning or losing and I was like we gotta win like we gotta prove to Clearfield County that we can do great things in the